The expressions on these dogs' faces almost look human. Some seem woeful and angry, others sad and terrified. These portraits capture just a few of Taiwan's strays in their last moments before they are put down. The photos are the works of photographer Du Yunfei. Over the last two years, he has taken over 40,000 images of strays just before they are put down. Even though the pictures have little economic value in Taiwan's art world, Du, a two-time winner of the Government Information Office's Photography Award, gave up his job as a photographer for a well-known magazine to take pictures of dogs facing death. He began working on the project because he had wanted to use photography to capture the situation of Taiwan's strays for a very long time. By working on the project, Du became a passionate advocate of animal rights. It's a personal project that doesn't pay, but Du thinks it's well worth the time and effort. Animal rights groups estimate that Taiwan has hundreds of thousands of stray animals that were abandoned either by their owners or by irresponsible breeders who grew tired of feeding them. Animals caught by government sanitation workers are usually taken away to be put down. Du hopes his pictures will draw attention to the plight of Taiwan's strays. He once spent five months trying to get a perfect single shot, but the photographer says it was all worth it. Animal euthanasia is still a taboo subject in Taiwan. Some believe it should not be publicized, but Du believes his pictures are succeeding in delivering the message that people should stop animal abuse. According to Du, there are animal shelters in Taiwan that treat animals humanely. However, due to the lack of government funding, many shelters are poorly managed, causing the spread of diseases among the dogs being kept there. The biggest problem, though, is the government's outsourcing of animal euthanasia to cut costs. The whole system is flawed, as outsourcing reduces the need for supervision. <laughs> President Ma ying has promised to increase funds for animal rights groups at the end of November. People like Du, who love animals, hope that in the future, fewer animals will have to suffer the death penalty. But he is not optimistic, as legal amendments are probably not enough to stop people from handling animals roughly at shelters during the euthanasia process. CNA reporters Christy Chen, Maya Huang, and Judy Lin reporting from Taipei.